What's up everybody, Master Boris here with a new video. New video, what's good in the hood? Chicken nuggets with some hot sauce on them combos. But yeah, I want to talk to y'all about my first impressions of Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. And no, I'm not making a hot sauce playthrough on a freaking beta. Nope. Now, I mean, I did it before, but not this time, no. Um, I think the beta ended today, or I'm, I'm not sure. It's probably still, I'll probably play it, try to play it after this. At first, I tried it on the Switch version, the Nintendo Switch, and then I tried it on the PS4 version. I feel this game feels better on the Switch version, and I feel like how the way the game is, it, it, it's a party game. It's not meant to take seriously. Um, as a competitive spe standpoint, it's not meant to take seriously, but they making this game as competitive, and they're rushing this game so it can be at EVO, so... There you have it. It's gonna be it's gonna be taken competitively anyway, but I feel like it's gonna be DOA because people are turned off of all the characters they probably wanted as DLC and everything is on this. And also I got some DLC leaks um I'm gonna be talking about uh after I, I say my opinion on the game. It's fun. I would say that it's very, very fun. Um I feel like the combos are shallow. I don't really like the control schemes. Um, you got two attacks. One, your heavy is pretty much a clash. And then partner. Now, the, now this game is really based on your assist and how and the way you call it. The more you call your assist, the more it level um, your renaissance, uh, not renaissance, uh, resonant, resonance uh, blades will be. Um, I mean, it can be a little crazy. The damage output is way too freaking high. I mean, you got characters like Tager and Gordo can beat you in five seconds of over like a 10 hit combo, which is ridiculous. But yeah, uh, it's cool. I feel like it's a little linear. I don't think the game is that deep combo wise. Like I said, I think it's shallow. Um, but it's pretty pretty okay for the most part but you pay a $60 for this and half of the content is DLC uh might want to reevaluate yourself because I'm not doing it. I'll probably get it is it coming out on PC as well let me see if it's coming out on PC as well uh let me see let me see let me see yes it is um but anything, I'm getting it on the Switch. I might get it on Steve. But, uh, just to have a fighting game on the Switch, because I don't have it yet well until Smash Bros. come out. Anyway, <laughs> Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Um, you, uh, pre order the game. You got the beta with the 20 characters to see how they play. Now, I mainly played with Hyde and Hazama, or Hyde and Ruby. Uh, the Ruby characters. Uh, it, like we Wise and Ruby, they they pretty good. They, they got some they got some reach. And and don't get me started on Gordo. That that's just way too way too freaking easy. <laughs> just <laughs> just five just five B and you'll be all right. Or I'll just do his uh quarter circle uh back move. Um. Not quarter circle back, but quarter circle forward move. And also, yes, it has quarter circle motions, just like Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, no, no DPs, I don't think that I that I know of. But I just kept doing quarter circle forward, quarter circle back moves, like in Dragon Ball Fighters. Just feel like everybody has um, that type of motion. No charge, no DP motion, nothing, nothing. Um, I would say this though, the defensive options of this game, the defensive mechanics of this game, way better than Dragon Ball Fighter. All the stuff, the reject and everything else, and the burst, this is what I wanted in Dragon Ball Fighter, and I don't have it. That's what, ki that's what kills me, you know what I'm saying? You have to have mechanically offensive options and defensive options. You have to be balanced and I feel like this game is more balanced when it comes down to that compared to Dragon Ball Fighters. 
the, the Dragon Ball Fighters defensive <laughs> mechanics is so boo boo. Um, I do feel like uh, this game um, w uh, wipes your ass for you at times. Um, meaning like, yo, you do the, you do a certain combo and you do, oh, okay. Then, then you got auto combos too, which that doesn't really bother me, um, like most people. You know what I was thinking? That this game will probably have, you know, each character's uh, respective series have their own mechanics. You know, Blaze Blue have the overdrive, under the nice number past the grid. And I was like, nah, they're not, they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. So everybody has a universal new mechanic called a Resonance Blaze. You know what I'm saying? It is treated like an X Factor and you can only use it if you're one character down. Um, you, you gain health. Whole nine yards. I mean, you probably seen it in yeah, people's videos, or you probably played it yourself. Um, I I just hate the fact that the characters I want to play is DLC, and I have to buy it. Like Akihiko, I will put Akihiko and Hyde in the same team, or Akihiko and Hazama in the same team. I, I, it, that's just that's just goofy to me. Um, Mr. like Persona 3 characters are DLC and I mainly when I play Persona 4 Arena uh, I usually play with the Persona 3 characters um, and then I played with Yukiko too I liked it her oh yeah I saw I had a, a team with her and uh, Ruby but yeah um this gave me my uh, uh, thoughts on this game, um, what did, what did y'all think about this game, you know what I'm saying? Um, did that, did our system works put chicken nuggets with some hot sauce and some combos, or you feel like this game is bad? You think it's a high? I think it's a high, and it's not worth 60 bucks. Um, um, Mori, you're gonna have to tone this down to 20 bucks if you want me to play this game. Um, so it's probably gonna be about next year, or two years from now, since so when I get this game, I'll just get Fighters EX Layer instead. <laughs> at, least you, at least you know you're getting something. Um, there was another game that was, yeah, Fighter Fighter EX Layer. But there was another game that was coming out that first week of sub June, but I forgot. But anyway. Let's talk about the final DLC characters that's been data mined, and you know people are going to do this. So, we got... Let's see... We got Izayoi, Mai Natsumi, Nine, Akihiko, Labrys, like I said before, Mitsuru, from the Undernight side, Mokava, Mika, Yuzoriha. Those are the final DLC characters. And I didn't know they announced Igis, Jubei, and somebody else. I didn't know Jubei was in this game. Who was it? Oh, Carmine. Carmine. For Unlike and Birth. I didn't know they announced them. Um, and then Blake Belladonna is free from the RWBY side of the game. Um, only four characters from that uh, series. They could have put more in. They could have put the villains. I haven't finished watching that web series, by the way. I need to finish watching it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just pretty much giving you my, um, I'm trying to wake up from my sleep thoughts on this game. But yeah, um, this game is perfect for the Switch, though. I, I will not be getting it on PS4. I'll be getting it on the Switch. But, um, yep. Yeah more like even though this is blaze i know it's blaze blue cross tab battle and there's going to be more blaze blue characters than anything and then the other uh characters from there from other series probably going to be about what 12 i don't know but yeah um what y'all think about this game let me know in the comments like comment subscribe enjoy the hot sauce game without further ado i'm your host master boris hit out